Hey there, welcome back. This is going to be a post course video. And in this video, we are going to understand how to take advantage of Nifty and Wix, the correlation between them that is there. And I hope you have watched our Nifty Wix PCR video in which I have explained that Wix and Nifty have an inverse relation between them. So meaning whenever India Wix is going up, Nifty comes down and whenever Wix is going down, Nifty goes up. So how to take advantage of that particular correlation between Nifty and Wix practically? So right in front of my screen, I have India VIX uh, daily chart and then I have Nifty futures uh, intraday chart. So I'm going to explain how I took advantage of this particular move that came and how to recognize such moves whenever you are trading. So first of all, let's go to Telegram. This trading explained official is our channel, uh, which is for our students. So who, whoever has purchased this course uh, is added over here. And in this channel, uh, today is 20th September, Monday. So on Friday, 17th September, I had alerted that daily VIX, if crosses above that level, we may see profit booking in market stay alert. So what was that image? Let's see. So this was the image. This was the daily chart. And on Friday, today is Monday. Uh, the day I am making this video is Monday. And just two, uh, two days back, Friday, market, the India VIX was trying to break the resistance. Now, as you can see, the support had turned resistance over here and the Nifty uh, uh, VIX chart, India VIX chart was trying to break that resistance. And what happened today? So today was Monday and at 11.24 PM, I saw that there was a strong breakthrough coming in from VIX uh, on that resistance level. So on Friday, it was trying to break, but on Monday, morning which is today morning it broke above that resistance and if you can see it broke above this particular level as well so there was there were multiple resistances out there and Nif india vix managed to go above all of them and that is why i instantly went bearish and i put a message saying don't be long on index not the best time the time was 11 24 am and let's see what happened on charts. India VIX was breaking through and 11.24 somewhere around, let me see. We were somewhere over here. This was the part 11.24 AM when I said that, hey, don't be long on index. Index may drop down today. Now, why did I say at this particular moment or at this particular time only? There were two reasons. The number one reason was VIX was crashing through the resistance. VIX was just blasting through that resistance at that time. And Nifty, Nifty was having a resistance of 17,610, 17,612 levels because on the previous trading day, which is Friday, on Friday, it tried to take multiple supports at that level. And at the end of the closing of Friday, it resisted at that level. So 17.612 was the level uh, where I was pretty bearish and it was complemented by VIX. VIX was breaking through. And the thing was at this point, Nifty was also going up and VIX was also going up. So this was the number one factor which contributed for my bearish view that it cannot happen. Nifty is also going up. VIX is also going up. So now either of them is going to fall either VIX is going to fall or either nifty is going to fall and which one of them is going to fall is what you have to understand is what you have to look at so after such a long uh, consolidation and breakout i was pretty sure that VIX is not going anywhere so VIX was breaking through this resistance like anything i will show you the three minute or five minute chart to you of uh, VIX, and let me zoom in as you can see here, VIX was just continuously going up without any down moves. So at this point, I was pretty sure that VIX is not going anywhere, meaning VIX is going to stay on the higher side. And if the VIX is going to stay on the higher side, there is going to be profit booking on the index, which is Nifty and Bank Nifty. So what happened over here? Nifty took resistance over here multiple times uh, today morning itself. So it was 10, uh, 11, 12 am and then it was 11 30 am so this is where uh, it started taking resistance and the funnier part uh, the funnier part was people were actually bullish because it broke above this resistance and closed on three minutes or something so 
let me show you this was the resistance and then if you see this green candle over here it actually went up and closed slightly above the high of this meaning people went bullish at this particular point of time on nifty and vix was also shooting up so that cannot happen so i was like hey dude vix to girne wala hai vix uh, sorry nifty to girne wala hai vix is not going anywhere vix is staying higher and if vix is staying higher and nifty is also uh, giving a breakout meaning that this particular breakout is going to be a false breakout but we just cannot short randomly based on uh, just that hey vix is just going up and nifty is going up as well let's short nifty we cannot do that we need some kind of confirmation with that and because we got a confirmation over here this complete bearish engulfing candle at this resistance after the nifty broke out of this previous high was a complete confirmation that nifty is going to fall now despite this mad bull run that is there nifty has come from 7500 to 17500 levels i had such confidence that i actually went up and bought put so uh, this is a group of our uh, few people the traders that are there all professional traders they share their view and here i put up the same chart saying don't be long on index not the best time it was around 11:23 am and then at 11:35 am i said i have bought the puts because i was confident enough that market is going to fall despite this mad bull run of nifty i went ahead and bought puts so i went ahead and bought puts of nifty and this point because this closing the candle closed at 11:36 because this is a 3 minute candle it opened up at 11:33 and at 11:35 the moment i shorted it was somewhere over here so it was pretty clear that the breakout which was there was uh, uh, not the right breakout not the actual breakout it was just to trap people and i did not wait for candles close because this candle could go anywhere it could actually come down like this and this and close around 50 60 points lower so i did not wait for candle close as soon as i saw that it is engulfing this particular candle i just shorted nifty i bought puts i bought out of the money puts because i was pretty convinced that this is going to fall heavily this is not going to stop and i kept stop loss above this now this was such a high probability trade i tell you because the stop loss was what not more than 15 points and the potential target you cannot believe what happened later on so nifty started to fell and it fell like crazy there was not one green candle no one buyer uh, there was absolutely no one to buy nifty and as you can see vix continue to go up and actually uh, vix ended on the day high so can you believe it this this is the vix chart right now it actually ended up on day high and nifty ended on day low boom so yes this is how market works this is how technical analysis works you just need to know what you are doing and i am pretty bearish as of now as well i am swing bearish in this mad bull run because the vix has given a complete closure above this particular resistance and now i do not see vix stopping before this level at least this is 21.4 and then later on it might get saturated at 24 and 25 levels so until vix is not hitting those levels i am pretty bearish on nifty and bank nifty so what happened in bank nifty bank nifty may uh, just couple of days ago it made a new all time high so as you can see this uh, was the new all time high in spot also and in futures also this was the new all time high and then after that the day after that which was friday market hit bottom in the morning and then recovered from there and then closed above this particular high which was uh, like a good sign for buyers that buy the dip because the kind of candle this made it was like buy every damn dip you see on the screen it was happening like that like uh, let me show you on the uh, intraday charts what happened in bank nifty so let me just clear out all this uh, indicators and stuff just a minute so all we need is price action and volume save reference and see so in the morning it dipped down it went up it dipped down again and then at the end of the day it went up again so it was like hey just go ahead and buy every damn dip bank nifty has broken above its all time high and now 
every dip is getting bought that is what kind of the market tried to show over here and the exact next day it gapped down so today was monday it gapped down and then it recovered everything it recovered back those gaps that were there even in bank nifty and nifty also it recovered that gap and tried to tell people that hey buy this thing i'm not going anywhere and that is exactly why so many people got bullish on nifty and bank nifty and this buying came and after you know, people were trapped market was convinced that many people have been trapped uh, it just fell it just fell like crazy bank nifty fell from levels of 37850 to levels of 37150 which is crazy 700 800 points down move in one day similarly nifty i shorted nifty over here so i was so happy and i have puts right now i am carrying those puts and this is how stuff works you need to have those conviction levels and need to have conviction and uh, faith in your setup and i am pretty sure that nifty is not going to stop now at least until the wix is achieving levels of 21 and 24 so i hope you understood how stuff works because see i want you guys to watch this video again and again because there's so much going on in here if you could understand this concept clearly then you are going to make a lot of money only based on the chart of india wix so please go replay this video watch again and uh, i i will update this particular course with such more example videos whenever i get such things in line and make sure to upload and uh, share with you guys so I hope you learned something out of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubts, you can contact me on Telegram. You can message me over there. I've, I am there to solve your doubts. So I will see you there and tata bye bye. Take care.